What's going on everybody? It's Papa Stones coming back with another video. So today I just finished up with my last pre-release. It was a bit better than the last one deck wise and technically performance wise. Um, I ended up winning. It was kind of an odd format so it was later. It started at 6 p.m. and people didn't want to be there all day so it was basically single elimination best of one games. So I basically won four games and ended up winning i'll show you what i got at the end if you're curious but uh i ended up playing a ray green ray and cad were definitely the best pre-release leaders so got lucky with that the rest of my leaders were horrible so we're gonna go over the list here i had one moisture farmer one clone deserter this card was nuts with this because it's a turn one three four right so that's good uh, one Maz Kanata sucked. Like, I thought it'd be cooler because I have a lot of low cost cards in here, but sucked. But it was filler. Um, actually had two Warzone Lieutenant. Uh, turn one, three, three is not bad, right? It's just Battlefield Marine. Could be worse. Um, one Mystic Reflection. I used it once to kill a Cat Bane, so that was kind of cool, but other than that, meh. And then uh, one Covert Strength. This card was actually really solid. Um, resourced it every time. Generally never just played it from hand. But uh, being able to like heal two damage off something and give it an XP is usually kind of nice in this sealed style format. Um, I used it to push for game in my last match actually. I had 24 damage on base and I had a, a double XP Sundari Peacekeeper. And... Uh, I just healed it up at the end of the turn and made it so it was four and then it could do six when it attacked so that was nice. The card was actually pretty playable. Then uh, one commission. This card sucked. I only have two bounty hunters in the entire deck. I'm pretty sure so felt bad. Didn't realize that at the time but I needed to fill space right. Um, one clan Ren. You can either buff itself or something else right. Um, it wasn't horrible. Wasn't great. Uh, Hyperfoil scanning officer. Played it twice, I think. Never got a smuggle resource. Feels bad, but it looks cool, right? Uh, one privateer crew. Never played it as a two drop, smuggled it out once. It was kind of okay, I guess, when I had nothing better to do. Um, Underworld thug. Yeah, filler. And then Gamorian Retainer was okay. I think I only played it once. And then I also, oh boy, one spark of hope. I resolved this one game. It was like turn four resources or whatever. I played a the Warzone Lieutenant guy. And then they just immediately ran it over. I spark of hoped it. Then I played another Warzone Lieutenant. So that was kind of cool. But other than that, it got resourced a lot um two however you say that tree tender this card's sick right three cost make it a three five with ray it's got grit it's a good unit uh only one sundari that's all i got but this card's crazy raid and restore you can make it a three seven like or a 5-7 while attacking. It's nutty. Uh, twin Pod Cloud Car just has Restore 2. Um, you can also make it a 3-3 technically, so it doesn't feel as horrible, but it's still not great. Uh, one Take Captive. I like Capture. Um, capture itself's fun, right? Put something on Ray. I had one 4-drop. It was a Rose Tico, so that was kind of cool. Um, it kind of requires answers, right? It's a good card. Um, my two bounty hunters. Discerning Veteran. I played this a lot. I captured a lot of stuff today, so that was fun. But the body's a little small, so it got ran over a few times, and then you kind of feel bad, but I was able to pull it out. Um, one Vigilant Pursuit Craft. 35 Space Set. All playable, I guess. Uh, one Delphi Patrol Wing, 
all I had, card's crazy, good stats, good effect, yada yada. Uh, six drops, we got one cargo jug. I think the one game I played it, it didn't heal me, but it was a 4-6 shielded, so that's always good. Uh, one mercenary company it was a decent answer into some leaders and some bigger stuff. It's still good, right? Then I had one uh, Rivals Fall. I saw it when I needed it, I guess, so that didn't feel bad. But moving on, last card for this. In Aspect, we got Chewbacca. Uh, the games I played this, I won. The I think the second to last game I played, I, uh, I resourced it pretty early on, and we got to like the late game. And I was just like, I knew I had it in my resources. Like, I'm going to smuggle it for 11. Sure as shit. I got to 11 resources, and I was like, oh, here we go. So that was kind of funny. But uh, then I got some out of aspect removal, uh, detention block rescuer, and spare the target. Um, I thought detention block would be all right because there would be more capture, but I didn't get captured once. And then spare the target gets you bounty benefits and what's it's called so it felt good enough to play like I had some other stinkers I could have thrown in in aspect but I was like I uh, there are certain times where I wouldn't main, mind paying five for these um so that was the deck I played like I said I went undefeated so I got some cool stuff I'll show you guys um I got three of the weekly play packs uh nothing too crazy really I mean I got this foil Django right that's kind of cool but then just like a Mando's Rifle, Razor Crest, three of these, what are the odds? Um, one of these, and two of these. But the cool stuff, right? I got the event exclusive Grogu, and then I got the judge copies of Moff Gideon and Mandalorian. And on top of that, I also got this nice playmat. It is Game Genic Dark Saber. I mean, it looks pretty sweet. I don't know if I'm gonna use it or sell it. I'll probably sell it. Honestly, I already have a playmat, but it's sweet. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to let me know. Drop a thumbs up for Yumble Boy and uh, comment. So uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.